Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Sarah Eileen and today I figured I could let you guys know a little bit about all the stuff that I used going through college. I did recently just get my bachelor's degree in criminal justice through Baker College and I know it's a little late but I figure I might as well just show you what I did actually use because I know I've posted I think two school supplies or what's in my backpacks thing uh, videos so I will leave those somewhere but a lot of that stuff I know I didn't use um, even though I anticipated using it or I used it a lot less than I thought I would um, so I figure I might as well start with like my backpacks because I did have three different backpacks um, one of them I had from high school and then the other two I still use and then I have a purse now that will still hold the stuff that I need it to um, and it's kind of for traveling and whatnot um, so I guess let's just get on into it to begin I'll just do backpacks because it's the biggest and bulkiest part my first backpack is this Jansport backpack I actually don't think this specific print is sold anymore but I do think they still have this size it is ginormous there is a huge pouch a slightly smaller pouch this little pencil thing and then there's another two small ones down here and there are little water bottle compartments on the sides I think my biggest issue if I remember correctly is that there wasn't specifically a spot for a laptop while it did hold all of my books I just had to keep it in a separate compartment like on its own just so it didn't get smushed and then my other two bags both have spots for backpack or for laptops um, I was mostly concerned that my books were gonna squish my laptop and that would not have been optimal obviously but my freshman year all of my classes were on campus so I had to have all of my books with me at all times sophomore year I actually think like by the end of sophomore year is when I got my second backpack and this one I still really enjoy. The first one I actually gave to my, my sister for her freshman year. So this one I still use for when I'm just going to be taking like one or two books somewhere. If I'm just running somewhere for the day. It's from Calpac and they don't sell this color anymore and it sucks. And I'm sorry this is the terracotta color. Um, if they do bring it back or they have it back now I'll link it down below. But they have like blush and I think they still have black and they have some other pastel colors that are all really nice too. But this one does have, like, a whole thing just for your laptop. And then there's just this small pouch here. And another pouch that has, like, a tablet compartment. And some other little pockets. It's a good size if you only need it for, like, two books. Or if you're doing online or you're doing half online. Which is what I ended up doing was I was half online, half on campus. And then my senior year that I just finished, I kind of... I did a bachelor's degree in three years. So there was no real... Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, it was year one, two, and three. So my final year, I got this from Best Buy. I know they still have it because I just got it. It is the American Tourist Tourister International. I actually got this using um, like certificate award things from their credit card system. It has its own like cushioned laptop sleeve. It's got another bigger pouch for any of, I had like five classes at one point, six classes at one point, so it was good for having all of my books. There's this little flap that has other random stuff in it that I'll get into later. Um, and then there's this pouch up in the front, if I can open it, that has like a tablet sleeve and more compartments. Um, that was really nice because I was working at the college still and doing other things with other jobs so I could have everything I needed for the entire day. And now that I'm not carrying books all over the place anymore, I just have a big old purse from Target. Something that I can take with me from every single job that I have. Um, and then like around doing other various things and not have to worry about not having space. Um, just for my purse though, like if I just have to grab something and go, I do have this little cow pack. Um, I don't know what they call it. It's like a clutch purse thing. You open it and there's a bunch of spots for um, like money and cards and 
everything that you could possibly need. It's basically a glorified um, card holder thing. Um, so of all three of the backpacks that I actually used through college, I think my favorite was the American Tourister um, for what I needed my senior year. Each of them served their purpose equally and it was very, very nice to be able to have different bags for different needs. But for my freshman year, I will say that the Jansport was wonderful. I had four classes on campus and I think five textbooks plus my laptop and it distributed the weight really nicely. Um, the biggest downfall for the Calpac bag was that the straps were kind of harsh on my shoulders when I was carrying bigger bigger books. And then the American Tourister had really nice cushioned uh, straps and it distributed the weight really nicely too. Something that the second two bags had that the first one didn't was this strap here. You set it on the back of your suitcase, um, like on the handle, so you don't have to be carrying another bag. It can all just be on the, on the suitcase. And I utilized that with my CalPAC bag when I went to Vegas last year, and that was extremely beneficial because I was very tired after walking through the entire airport. It was ridiculous. So into stuff that I actually used through college, it's not a lot. I can't lie. My primary thing was my MacBook. I have a Pro now, and when I started college I had the Air. Both were good. Um, I have the Pro now more for YouTube and then work stuff. I also recently got an iPad Pro. This thing is extremely wonderful. I use it almost daily. Um, I did get the pencil, and then I got the Logitech keyboard case, just because it's a little bit cheaper, and I prefer the keys on the keyboard on this to the Apple one. Just one of my little personal things. I like the clicks on the keyboard, whereas with the Apple case, they didn't click as much, and it's as simple as that. Um, more technology stuff that I used. I have Beats. Solo 3 wireless. These are actually the newer version, but when I started college I had a black pair. Um, I actually just sold those, but I love them. They're noise canceling. They're very nice for trying to do work in a library. Um, I have a RAV Power portable charger. I have used this since last winter, spring type area. Um, it holds a charge for an extremely long amount of time. When I went on my hiking trip last year, I actually only had to charge it once, and I was gone for a week, and that was for my GoPro, my phone, and any other thing that I was using, really, but I think those were the two primary bits that I was charging. And then, of course, the family that I went with, we were all charging on that collectively, because there are... I'll show you. There are two USB ports, and then there is a micro to charge, and then there's also a flashlight. You just hit this button, and it shows you how much life you have, and then you hit it again. You hit it again, and it's supposed to turn on the flashlight, but it's not working. And it did come with this case. I usually just keep the cord that I have with it in the case, just so I don't lose it. Next, I have my 4 terabyte. uh... WD Easy Store external drive. This thing has all of the schoolwork I've ever done from like my senior year of high school all the way through graduating college. Um, and then it has all of my photos on it. You can actually, it's really neat, import all of your photos directly from Instagram and Facebook instead of having to go in and save them one by one. So I really, really like that about that. And they do really good sales on them through Best Buy. So I'd keep an eye out for that, and if I can find stuff, I will try to link it down below for you guys because I know how difficult it can be just going off the names. So moving on from technology stuff to like, I don't know, not technology stuff. This goes right along with it though. This is a tech pouch. You open it, and it's got several different pouches. I've got room for chargers and... I actually use this zipper right here for all of my wired headphones. Um, another headphone thing I forgot about, I have my Pixel Buds because I do have a Google Pixel phone. And then I've got Apple computer products. This little case just charges them by themselves. 
and then you can take the headphones out super handy they're super small especially compared to your beats like although these do fold up that is still pretty comparable and it depends on what you're doing like if i knew i was going to be walking around campus and i wanted to hear if somebody was around me i would be wearing these or if i was just out and about like working out or something i always had my pixel buds with me um completely sidebar sorry um another thing i used a lot was my bullet journals this one is the one that i actually started um let's see what year this was i don't know if i've got a year so this one was from last year it is completely full now so i moved on to this one this i got from a local mom and pop shop it just says do something creative every day but I know you can order similar ones from Paper Source. This specific one is no longer sold, unfortunately. They did a big sale and I missed it. So this color is not sold, but I think they do still have black ones that say the same thing and they have the little wasp on the front. And then this is my current bullet journal, just half full, I guess. It's from Exceed. I think I ordered this off Amazon, but I'm not 100% sure. I've been using it since April, May, I think. Um, I also got a couple packs of these little sticky notes from Walmart. They are like $2.50. Um, and they have a straight edge, which makes it really nice if you don't carry a ruler with you. You just use your straight edge from that for when you're journaling or whenever you're doing notes. I like to take fast notes and then go back later and either put them on my iPad or laptop or revise them and make them look all nice. I don't know if you guys would like a video on how I would revise notes. I can probably try to remember how I did it because it's been a hot second. Um, but onto that, I loved my notebooks. These are the two I showed you in my last What's in My Backpack video. I just got these from Marshalls. They were like $2 each. Um, they're just standard notebooks. They have a little calendar set in the front and then they're just regular lined pages and they have a spot for like the subject and the date up at the top. I also have this Boss, Boss Babe pencil case type thing. I got this from Lively that I do actually have a code for if you're looking for any bras or underwear or they actually have swimsuits as well and bodysuits now. Um, it's just a really cool website. I can leave the link for that in my code for you to get you a little percentage off. I don't get commission from that. It's just a discount code but in this I have all of my little washi tapes and then the pens that I preferred. So when I would take my notes, I would use the 0.7 um, tips. They're just really, really, really small points. Um, easier to write smaller notes, easier to go back and revise with. And then I would also use, um, I don't have any with me anymore, but it was not a click pin. It was just like a regular, just kidding. I think I do have one. Yes regular little bitty ballpoint pen. This is a 0.5. Let me see if I can get that to focus on there. There we go. Little bitty. It was nice because I wanted to get as many notes on a single page as I could as quickly as I could, not having to worry about it smudged. This type of pen, I, my boyfriend got it for me. I think they're from Amazon. It did not smudge for me, but a lot of it depends on the type of paper you're using as well. If you're using a more waxy type paper, you're probably just going to want to use a pencil because the pens will smear. Um, still with papers, I used these my freshman year all the way through graduating. They're just some five star folders that I have. I don't even know what's in these. Hmm. Just tabs in there and like various notes. I think this was probably from a psychology, yep, social psychology haven't taken that in a minute but um, it was nice being able to hole punch everything and put it in my tabs I had vocabulary notes 
checkpoints, essays, and articles just because that is what they recommended for that class specifically. Other classes recommended different things and some just didn't care. So it is really also finding out what your teachers expect of you. My last two things. I am talking very fast. I do apologize. I have more post-it notes. I've actually used a whole thing of them. And then these were more for marking my books because I wanted to go back when I was doing my notes and doing my reading to make sure what I was actually reading was what I was thinking it was. Um, I have a hard time reading something once and retaining it. So I annotate it and then go back later and take notes on what I read. But I can't take notes as I go because it doesn't stick the same. And then I also have colored index cards. I tried using plain white. That didn't work for me. I did color based on class. That way I would see a color and I would associate it with a specific class. That's just what helped. I made it, so I guess this worked. <laughs> Um, if you guys have any questions about what else did work for me, what I didn't use, what I didn't prefer, I did use highlighters sometimes, but mostly when I was annotating in my books, I would just use my pens and color things by like what they were. So vocabs were red, uh, things I had questions about were probably green. Um, I do have mild liners. I know you can get those at Walmart now. I use those for journaling. Um, that's about it. Uh, I did always have my phone, and like I showed you earlier, I always had my phone charger. If not a physical charger, I had my spare portable battery with me, just because I was on campus all day when I was doing on-campus classes. It was a morning to 10 p.m. because I wanted to get it all done in two days. I would do Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, depending on the semester and what was offered. So I was really there all stinking day. So if you want any further videos on how I took notes or how I did my bullet journals, anything like that, let me know. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.